All right, let me get this straight. So I just finished this latest manhunt and all of a sudden now Keener was actually right this entire time. The division is just apparently really slow. Um, what, what else did we learn? So the hunters are actually really, really bad. And somehow Fei Lao is still alive. The, this is uh this is definitely taking a, a crazy twist. So let's uh let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. But we're gonna dig deep into this one. We're gonna pull back uh, previous clips to, f uh, to provide full context on what's actually going on in the community right now because the rumors are just swirling about this latest uh, manhunt twist that was thrown to us from the developers. Now, if you did not know this previous Tuesday, we were just given the newest uh, manhunt, the financial district, and this is a part of the Kelso manhunt where we're trying to find Kelso and we are investigating what's actually going on with Kelso. Now, before we jump into what's going on with the story right now, let, let's just back up a little bit, and here is what the developer said about Fei Lao, because I want to be very, very clear on what the developers have publicly said about Fei Lao before we start jumping down these rabbit holes, because it's really fun to put the uh, conspiracy theory hat on, and I agree, that's why I'm going to do it <laughs> in this video, but... I do want to provide full context, so let's go ahead and rewind the clock back about two years to where the developers, um, Yannick, the creative director, and Daria, the, the community developer, were talking about Fei Lao and the Manhunt story within The Division 2. So let's go ahead and jump to that. I agree with you. And also, new season meant the continuation of the story. Yes. And Trigger warning, character death. <laughs> Sorry, I needed to get it out there. Uh, so before we continue discussing uh, countdown and expertise, I want us Who to... Who does she mean? <laughs> I don't know. Who's watches. Dead? <laughs> I don't have watches on me. Weird, but... <laughs> so before we start discussing yes. do Ben Hunt new targets. Yeah. Is there anything you want to <laughs> come clean about? <laughs> come clean. No, so <laughs> now it's uh there's been a lot of conversation uh from season four all the way to now. Uh about uh where season four ended. Uh and uh and season nine is it is a direct, you know, it's the direct uh, consequences of season four. It comes immediately after in our timeline. So that whole year uh, that we waited between season four and now didn't happen in, a, in our story. Uh, in our story, you start season nine immediately after uh, the events of Camp White Oak, uh, where you went after Fei Lao. Um, and yes, Fei Lao is dead. She is dead. She's not coming back. You took her down, uh, even though Isaac didn't say it. You know, Isaac is a computer, sometimes computers bug. I don't know. I'm sure we'll retcon a reason why Isaac didn't say anything. But uh, no, uh, Fela is dead. She was always meant to be dead. And that was the reason why I'm saying that it's not as a spoiler to season nine. It is something that we had intended to be clear at the end of the, uh, uh, season four. It wasn't clear, but it was not unclear because we intended it that way. It's just the execution made it unclear. Uh, so that's why I want to confirm that when you go into season nine, it's not a surprise. Fela is dead, uh, but but what happened there? Like, why why did she do all of that? Why did she go rogue? Why did she kill, uh, uh, assassinate the president? Why did she blame it on the division? Like all of that. This is all the questions that we're building on for season nine. Uh, mm -hmm. so all right, so we're back, and well, I mean, they made it pretty clear. Fela's dead, right? So what is going on with this story? Now, to catch you up to speed on the new developments, 
Let's uh, let's go to our collectibles. So you need to go to progression, collectibles, and I believe it should be do, 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 under comms. So we have these new uh, Manhunt Vanguard comms. And whenever you complete each of the Manhunts, you will be given one of these Kelso notes. Now this is uh, where all the juicy information comes from is whenever you actually complete each section, this collectible will pop up. So we have three sections completed, so we have all three Kelso notes, okay? Now, for, eh, we'll, we'll go through the notes first, and then I'll show you the latest video, because you need to have all of the context here. So for note one, it's just the comms aren't safe. So the Black Tusk and the Rogues have eyes and ears everywhere, and the Hunters have access to all of it. I wish I could tell you more, but it's really not safe. You're not safe. If we're together, we're a threat, especially here. Agent, I know you. You're smart. If you found this, I know you're on the right path. Just find me, and I can tell you everything I found out about Cassandra. Cassandra. They keep talking about this name, Cassandra. All right, next Kelso note. It says, I think someone is following me. I think someone is following me. It's probably her. I swear she has more lives than a cat. Right there, there's your first clue. She has more lives than a cat. Meaning, you know, cats have nine lives. And that would refer to this person is supposed to be dead. And then it says, uh, but soon they're going to run out. Cassandra was right. There is more here, and the Hunters and the Black Tusk, well, they have the tech, but we can take it away from them. We just need the key. So again, this goes back to the Descent comms, where we know that Anna, the AI system for the Hunters, was also used for Aaron Keener and the Rogue Agents. We also know that Black Tusk use a AI called Diamond. However, Diamond does not have a voice. And for the division, we have Isaac. Isaac is our AI, and Isaac does have a voice. So these are the three different systems. Now for us being a division agent, uh, we use Isaac with our skills. For the hunters, they're able to use Anna for their skills. For the Black Tusk, they are able to use Diamond for their skills. However, we did also learn through the Descent comms that the Hunters and also Aaron Keener, they were able to access both Isaac and Diamond as well as Anna. And that's why during missions like Liberty Island and also why in every hunter encounter they're able to disrupt your skills and right here in this note kelso says well in the first one it says it's not safe they have access to it and hunters have access to all of it in the second note it says well we know where all of their tech is so as soon as we get a key we can steal it however it also says that cassandra was right about all of this now cassandra is a code name all right, as far as we know. And then the third and final note, this is the one that we have received this week. It says, I knew Cassandra wasn't a traitor. Now that could also be a reference to Fei Lao because Fei Lao was a traitor. Now, this one says, I knew Cassandra wasn't a traitor. I wish... She could have told me what she was up to, but I get it now. I understand why she couldn't tell me, why she couldn't tell anyone. She needed to get the key first. We have the key. Find me. I have so much to tell you. So that key is in reference to the tech. So Kelso has now followed the clues that Cassandra gave her, and she now has the key to the tech to access not only Isaac, Anna, but Diamond as well. And it also says, Cassandra 
wasn't a traitor. She couldn't tell anyone. Now, if we go through these new comms, and I will in the gameplay, uh, we have a lot of chatter from Keener talking about Cassandra and Fei Lao. So, just jumping into this really quick. Uh, actually, I didn't change right about breakfast. That one, the bracelets isn't important. That's just Mackenzie and Bridget talking about the bracelets. However, these three right here. So code name, breakfast, and lunch. These all have to do with it. So listen up. She was hesitant at first, but she liked the mythology and agreed. Great. Happy to hear Cassandra is ready. And you're okay with the compromise. If the only thing I have to give up is two-factor authentication to activate the network, that's a sacrifice I'm more than willing to make. So right there, give up the two-step access, right? Now, we all know that with like things like, I don't know, like Discord or any sort of social media, they would ask you for, I don't know, maybe like an email and like a phone number, something like that, a two-step authentication, right? So right here, Cassandra agrees to come on board as long as Keener gives her the two-step authentication. Now that is the key that Kelso has been talking about. So let's keep going. Breakfast. Well, you've certainly gotten their attention now. That was always the plan. And how exactly do I fit into your little plan? You're the honeypot. And what bear do you think I can trap? A cute little one-eyed koala. You're kidding, right? Not at all. That's not going to go over well with the ex. Which ex? Xander. She, um... She hates your little one-eyed koala. Never pictured you with the JTF. But I suppose people can always surprise you. She's, um... She's with the true sons now. Oh. Well, it does create some complications. And opportunities. If everything goes to plan, we may need her help. We can't do this without Faye. I know. So, you in? Honey? As long as you promise never to call me that again, sure. Why the hell not? Boom. So right there, he recruits Viper to get Fei Lao on board because Viper and Fei Lao were ex-partners. Um, because they were both previously in the JTF. Now, that is being talked about constantly. Cassandra Fay, Cassandra Fay. Here's the next one. Lunch. Initial contact made. How'd it go? Koala has Alicia in custody, so not great. Well, at least you got away. More than I can say for Javier. What happened to Kajika? Kelso and her agents from DC. They are better than I expected. Well, she is relentless. Am I targeting the wrong ally? No. Kelso. She was CIA. Nat would never. Faye is the right choice. Yo. 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 So that one. So remember Keener called Fei Lao the one-eyed koala to Viper's honey. So, you you know, you bring out the honey, the bear will come, the bear being Fei Lao, and then the code name Cassandra. So they're, they're all speaking in different codes, what have you. Now, the cool thing about that was the end part. Remember, Kelso is, or was, CIA. And remember, CIA would work with the NSA... And the NSA and all of that was ruled by Calvin McManus. So Kelso has a connection now to Calvin McManus and uh, the Hunters. But it was funny because it would say Nat would never, I guess, never double cross Calvin McManus. Is that what that was supposed to mean? Is Kelso really uh, like an undercover for Calvin? Is she a hunter? This is pretty damning, if you will. Now, all of these talks, 
is about how they were recruiting Feilao. And remember, at the end of Warlords of New York, Feilao was already recruited with the Rogue Network. So it seems that it did work. So as far as these comms and everything go, Cassandra, the Koala, Feilao, they're all the same person. So what, what does this mean? So if you back up and go to the found footage, we have had uh, a few different found footage um, items added from this manhunt. The latest one being this one called Echo. Now just pay attention to this found footage and then we'll wrap up this entire conspiracy theory. Here we go. Now, right there, she's using Anna. This is the tech that the hunters Close. use. Okay. Anna's talking to her. Cold. Red hot. And then she finally finds where she needs to be. Now remember, this is Kelso. Echo detected. Glad you could make it, Cassandra. And now before you say anything, I want you to take a deep breath and promise you'll keep an open mind. I need you to listen to me, to, to truly listen and be open to admitting that maybe, just maybe, you were wrong. <laughs> I, I don't expect you to trust me, but I think we can help each other with our little hunter problem. Oh, I know you must be thinking, and hey, what could Aaron Keener possibly tell me about the Hunters that I don't already know? You think me and my rogues have been targeting the Division? This couldn't be further from the truth, Faye. If you really want to stop the Hunters, I can stop them. Well, I can't. But if we work together, we might stand a chance. What the fuck? Detected. And right there. Two-factor authentication required. Oop. And that was the two-factor, the two-step authentication he said he would give Fei Lao. So Fei Lao is Cassandra. And this is where we have left off. So Kelso is trying to find Cassandra's breadcrumbs. Cassandra is Fei Lao. This has now been confirmed. However, remember, Yannick said this. Fei Lao is dead. She is dead. She's not coming back. You took her down. Uh, even though Isaac didn't say it, you know, Isaac is a computer. Sometimes computers bug. I don't know. I'm sure we'll retcon a reason why Isaac didn't say anything, but uh, no, uh, Phaelor is dead. She was always meant to be dead. And that was the reason why I'm saying that it's not as a spoiler to season nine. It is something that we had intended to be clear at the end of the uh, season four. So that would, um, that would kind of confirm that we're following a ghost, right? And that Phaelor is not actually back as in alive, but... Uh, Kelso is picking up where Fei Lao left off. So she is finally getting all of the answers to what actually happened. How did Fei Lao get turned? Like, what exactly led to those events? And I think we're about to find out in the next uh, and final manhunt for this season. But we have to find out in, what, four weeks? Battery Park. So in eh, three weeks and three days, we have to wait for the conclusion to this part of the story. Now, what are my thoughts exactly? I think that Kelso, <sighs> Kelso is going to find out that the hunters might be the true, I, I don't know, I don't know. Because if Keener is still dead, and these are just us investigating Echoes and trying to figure out what happened with the Rogue Network versus the Hunters, then I'm assuming this is just building up to us, you know, finding Calvin McManus or Natalia. Um, also, side note, what happened to Brandon Schaefer? That's another question um, that has yet to be answered. 
So it is quite odd uh, that we are, mm, I don't know, what, 75% of the way done with the story for the current Manhunt. We have absolutely, I mean, I, I wouldn't say nothing new, but Cassandra is Felau. Kelso is just following the breadcrumbs of, um, yeah, Kelso is just following the bre breadcrumbs of Cassandra, which led her to Vanguard. Vanguard is Keener. And now we know that Kelso made it all the way to where Keener recruited Fei Lao. But now she's, what, shocked, unconscious, somewhere in some random building? Now this leads me to the thread that uh, is circulating right now on Twitter, X, if you nasty. So let's jump over there, and then we'll finish up with some gameplay. So on Twitter, uh, one of the Division you know, community members, one of the OGs from the uh, first game, Maverick, um, she actually went to each of these locations that Kelsa was going to, where it was going, you know, warmer, colder, warmer, you know, very hot with uh, Anna and Kelso. So here's the threat. It says, uh, I found all the locations in the latest cutscene, except for the interior of that apartment with the Echo. Now that's uh, where that uh, shade crate is that shocked Kelso. And then it says, uh, you know, follow the thread. So here's the first one where it was saying, you know, warmer. And she found that exact location. It was right outside of a control point. The next one, warmer. Again, right outside of another control point. Colder, right outside of the Celebration Hotel, and that is another control point. Colder, Widow's Web control point. And then finally, very hot. And this was actually right outside the Haven safe house. So this is the part that's crazy is that where it said very hot, where Kelso found this apartment and found the Echo where Keener is talking to Fei Lao, they met up in the Haven safe house? So does that mean that was... Uh, who was the unknown person whenever Kelso was walking into the Haven in the previous uh, little season? All right, and then Maverick continues here. The apartment. No, I haven't found the interior yet. Seems highly unlikely the team would go through all the trouble of mocking up an interior just for a cutscene. I know this apartment. I've been here before. I know I have, but where? And then that's kind of where the trail ends, because remember, this is where Kelso shocked herself, and she's probably currently sitting there unconscious. So what does this mean? This, this all points to Keener's right and the division is bad? I don't know. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Um, while I'm on here, let's double check the known issues. Uh, nothing has been updated. All right. So nothing on the known issues. Well, that's it for me. I'm going to jump back into the division two, and I will show you the gameplay of me doing this manhunt. Uh, but that was it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I hope you have a great day. Take care of yourself. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Let's go ahead and load up that manhunt gameplay. Here we go. Footage of Kelso in the financial district. Secure the area and see if you can find any leads on what she was doing there.
good night.
to be something here we're missing. Kelso is the last person who would choose to hang out in the financial district. She hates rich people. Hostiles guarding location nearby. Target near you. That's it.
wonderful goddamn day to be alive. Why couldn't they leave us alone? Detected from the control point in proximity. Another one down. Good job, agent. Mac, you're drunk. I'm tipsy. 
Don't be shy. If you show him yours, maybe he'll show you his. It's fine. You don't have to. Don't be shy now. You are flashing yours all over the bar. See, look, it's the same watch. Your turn, Bridge. Fine. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Pretty sure I've been a member longer than you have, Keener. She was hesitant at first, but she liked the mythology and agreed. Great. Happy to hear Cassandra is ready. And you're okay with the compromise? If the only thing I have to give up is two-factor authentication to activate the network, that's a sacrifice I'm more than willing to make. Well, you've certainly gotten their attention now. That was always the plan. And how exactly do I fit into your little plan? You're the honeypot. And what bear do you think I can trap? A cute little one-eyed koala. You're kidding, right? Not at all. That's not gonna go over well with the ex. Which ex? Xander. She, um... She hates your little one-eyed koala. Never pictured you with the JTF. But I suppose people can always surprise you. She's a... She's with the true sons now. Oh, well, it does create some complications. And opportunities. If everything goes to plan, we may need her help. We can't do this without Faye. I know. So, you in? Honey? <sighs> as long as you promise never to call me that again, sure. Why the hell not? Initial contact made. How'd it go? Koala has Alicia in custody, so not great. Well, at least you got away. More than I can say for Javier. What happened to Kajika? Kelso and her agents from D.C. They are better than I expected. Well, she is relentless. Am I targeting the wrong ally? No. Kelso. She was CIA. Nat would never. Faye is the right choice. Target is nearby.
disrupted. Come on. 
for extra holes.
serious trauma detected. Another note from Kelso, too. Target down. Good job. Cleaning up the streets one bad guy at a time. Nicely done, Sheriff. Authentication required. 